so hi guys so in today's video we would be looking at transform so basically you know we have looked at all the things and uh, we started with example gen statistics gen after that we looked at schema gen then we looked at uh, example validator and after that we in today we would be looking at transformer and most probably after today uh, uh, means then in the next video we would be looking at tuner and after that trainer so i am really uh, glad that the series is uh, moving forward with the goal that constant videos of tfx components are coming so again a brief overview we started with the uh, example gen then we started where the from where we split the data into two parts we made a copy of that particular data the split was done on 70 30 ratio and after that uh, 66 and 33% i'm sorry and once uh, uh, you have done with that uh, you can you, the data was converted into tf.example format after that the in the statistics then you got to know the about the statistics of your data you know everything about the data in the schema then you got to know in detail about the uh, schema of your data the particular uh, data statistics or the schema based on that Uh, and uh, in the next thing that was example validator you got to know about that in detail now once you are done with that let's look at transformer so the transfer component performs feature engineering for both training and server serving it uses the tensorflow transform library so transform would take input as the data from example gen the schema from schema gen as well as the module that uh, contains user defined transform code so we will look at the at a particular example so uh, we would run this taxi constant module file where we will use taxi constant dot py uh, the cell so this particular write file where self magic will save the contents of the cell as dot py file on the disk this allows the transfer component to load your code as a module after that uh, the categorical features are assumed to have maximum value in the data sets these these are the category feature keys trip start hours trip start day trip start month the dense float feature keys the number of buckets used by tf dot transformer for encoding each feature the bucket feature keys the pickup lo uh, latitude longitude the number of vocabulary terms and the keys the label key and the fair key i would just simply run this cell uh, yeah overwriting this now after that we will rewrite a pre processing function that takes in a raw data as input and returns transform features that a model can train on so taxi transform module file equals to taxi transform dot py so from here we would be importing tensorflow as tf tensorflow transform as tft and importing taxi constants we define all the things and now we will define our pre processing function it takes inputs outputs is this for key in tensorflow function we are defining all the things here uh, so you know I won't explain everything. I would recommend you to go to this notebook and uh, see this function getting complete. And we would define filling missing ones. Uh, suppose uh, you know we would replace the values in the spare tensor. We would fill the va missing values of x with either a uh, blank space or zero, and convert it into a dense tensor. So this is how things work. You want your data to be perfect. You don't want missing values to be there. So I would simply run this. and once you have run this now we pass the feature engineering code to the transform component and run it to the tra to transform your data now if you don't know about feature engineering i would very strongly recommend you to go and watch my feature engineering video uh, in my previous ml theory playlist so how transform will work we would simply give tfx dot components dot transform inside this we define example we take examples from example gen schema from schema gen and module file dot from here so you can see this is the website here you can see type of things that it takes inside it all the example schema module file split everything is defined here and i would simply run this and uh, as you can see these are the results these are the results you can see everything in detail here now let's examine the out, uh, output artifacts of the transform the components produces two types of output the first one is the graph you know that can perform pre processing operations it will be included in the serving and evaluation of models and the second is uh, examples representing the pre processed training and evaluation data i would simply run this and yeah this is it you can see 
uh, I would just take you to here transform graph channel inside it all the things are there uh, this is the particular URI and custom properties key custom properties and yeah, all the things are here everything you can see state life since epoch properties and key type of data set everything is given here now uh, let's take a peek at the transform graph artifact it points to a directory containing three subdirectories so let's take a peek and it will transform function metadata and transform metadata these are the three functions it turns. the transform function which is the main thing the metadata the type of data which we are using the actual data and then the transform metadata or you know obviously this metadata would have been passed into this function to get the transform metadata so the transform metadata subdirectory contains a schema of the pre-processed data so this transform function subdirectory contains the actual pre-processing graph the metadata uh, subdirectory contains the schema of the original data so we can also take a look at the first three transformed examples so you will take the particular path of that if you want to see you can go here and simply see it and the data set we have given it we would iterate over the first three if you want you can take even four here but for now i would set it as three i would simply run this and yeah this is the kind of feature the key is uh, pick up long longitude value is six, uh, in 64 list value zero key tips 64 trip miles uh, and everything you can see all the things are here so you know this is a part where i would recommend you to go and play with this notebook because when you play it with uh, play with uh, the notebook yourself you get to know about it in detail so yeah transform is a bit complicated but believe me once you play with it the notebook yourself things would get easy so this is it for the video i hope you have got the idea as usual the link to this notebook would be in the description section so thank you and have a nice day